You started it? So today we're gonna to be working with the microscope. Alright, fun stuff. Um, by the end you're gonna be say you can use a microscope and to locate some cells and parts of cells. Alright? So we're gonna be looking Don't at forget a few safely. different objects today. Alright? You're gonna be filling out this packet, there's two data sheets on the last two pages of the packet where you will put all of your information. Right. And before we get started, we're going to go through a couple of things so that you know what you're doing. It's like a microscope instruction. It is. Is there a way to do it so close? So as you can see, you have a nice picture of the microscope on the front page. All right. So we're going to open up to this first page with the microscope tips. And Milo, can you read this number one? Always start out on low power to find your specimen. And switch to medium and then high. All right, so that's important. Always go back to low power when you're switching out your specimens. So never stay on medium when you're switching out. Always go back to the low power. And we'll show you what that looks like before we begin. Um, Noah, can you read number two for us? Rippy? You only course focus with low power. Yeah. So you're going to use the course focus on. We don't have a course focus and a fine focus, we just have one focus, so you don't have to worry about that one as much. Okay. So we just have one focus knob. A lot of other microscopes have the two focus knobs, but we won't worry about that today. Um, Marlena, can you read number three? show you that in a minute there too. So that's adjusting the light for us so that it's a uh, better visual for each one. Uh, Annie, can you read number four? Clean your lenses with lens paper. Alright, should say your. So clean your lenses with lens paper. Um, you guys shouldn't have to clean your lens, but if you were, you don't want to use a paper towel because it'll scratch the lens. You only want to use lens paper. And Ruby, could you read us number five? If you lose your specimen on high power, you can't find it. Start over in easy mode. Yeah. Right. So when you get up to high power, it's really focused. So sometimes you can lose where your specimen's at when you switch up to high power. And uh, if you go back to low power, you'll be able to relocate it again and get that figured out. So that's a good way to do it. And then I'll read the wet mount tips for us. Uh, number one, cut your specimen small and thin. We're only going to be cutting one specimen, and I'm going to handle that. So that's with the geranium. So when you're ready for that, you'll have to let me know, and I'll get that cut and prepared for you. All right, number two, make sure the cover slip is flat on the slide. All right, so we're going to bring you back in groups and go over how to make a wet mount slide in the back. A wet mount slide is just uh, using water. Okay. So we'll show you, I'll show you back there um, a wet mount slide. Where is Bob here? Over by the sinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the microscope. Yep, you see the microscope over there. Alright. And number four, thick specimens can be torn or gently mashed to help separate the cells. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing with the geranium. You got to kind of tear it apart so that you can really get in there and see the cells well. Number five, Look along the edges of thicker specimens. So that's usually when they're a little bit less thick and we can see it a little bit better. And number six, bio stains can be added to help see organelles and details better. We're going to be using a bio stain is uh, like iodine. So it, 
Iodine is a compound. And so that's in this bottle here. And we're going to be using this to stain things today. I think we're using that to stain our cheek cells. Right. So we have a few different parts of the lab. All right. We have part one. We're going to be looking at a cheek cell. All right. We're going to get cells off of our cheeks. Yep, we're going to get cells off of our cheeks. We're going to tell you how to do that. Um, we're going to cut off one of our cheeks. And no, we're gonna, I think we're going to swab it. We're going to swab the inside of your cheek with cheeks. a toothpick. Are we doing hair cells? Yep, we're going to do hair cells as well. So you're going to pull out a hair. Alright. So refocus back up here, guys. We're going to get to the fun stuff in just a minute. Alright, um, so for the hair cell, you or your partner has to pull out a hair from your head. A whole hair. You want to look at the root, okay? So that's why you want to pull it out, so you can look at the root of the hair. So the part that connects to your head. So you're going to start with the hair cell. So you're going to start with the hair. Then you're going to go to the cheeks. And then you're also going to look at the plant cells. Right? And when you are doing this, make sure to go step by step through the directions. This is my partner. Okay. We'll get into that in just a minute, Joe. Hopefully not me. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go, we're going to go step, read step by step through the directions. Make sure you're following every direction on here, or you could miss something. <coughs> Got problems with that before. And as you're going through, so for the hair cell, as you're going through that, you're going to be filling out the questions on your last two pages of your data sheet. And it goes in order. So the first um, five, it looks like, are hair cells, and then it'll get into the cheek cells, and then it'll go into plant cells. So make sure you're answering the questions as you go. It'll be a lot easier. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the microscope a little bit. So, always carry it with two hands, okay? If you're not being careful with the microscopes, you're unfortunately going to have to be asked to do an alternate activity. So, so we'll come up with one. won't be too fun. So, make sure you're carrying it with two hands, okay? Two hands, all right? One on the bottom, like this, and one on the arm. Yeah. I know. But, and if you break it, you buy it. Pretty expensive. They're very expensive. How much are they? They're like $10. They're probably a few thousand dollars. Okay. All right, so we're going to go through the parts. We have our eyepiece up here black part. That's where you look into. Right. We have our magnification here. We have our low, our medium, and our high. And it's color coded. Okay. So the low is 4x. And it tells you the magnification on there. So make sure you're writing that down when you're looking at them. When you're answering the questions, we want you to write down what magnification you're looking at. So whether you're using the low, the medium, or the high. And make sure you write down 4x or 10x. Maybe the other one's 40x. Okay. So make sure you're writing down the 4x, 10x, or the 40x rather than just the medium or high. Here, this is the stage. This is where you're going to put your slides. Okay. And you're going to put the clamps on there so that it doesn't, so that it stays still. Strong though. Okay. This dial on the bottom of the stage controls how much light is allowed, so you can turn that to adjust the lighting. Okay. The on button in the back. Right. And then this is your focus knob on the side. It's, so it's on both sides. It's your focus knob. Is there another one? No. no, not on these microscopes. There's no fine focus. There's no fine focus. How do you make it move around the stage? The stage? That's what it's doing when it's focusing. 
So we only have eight microscopes. No, eight. Eight. No, we have 18 people. No, it's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Well, you just count. It's eight. So it's eight microscopes. So we're going to be having eight pairs. There might be a group of three or two. We have 18. We have an even number. Even number. But, but, that's, but eight doesn't but, go into yep. 18. So we're going to have two groups of three. Okay. So that back table is going to be a group of three, and this table is going to be a group of three. Hi, guy. Okay. So when when you come, you're, you and your partner, one of you is going to come grab a microscope. If your microscope is dead, we have chargers, but you're going to have to move over here and plug it in and use the microscope on the bench. Ow. So you have two fix over here for swabbing your cheek cells. Oh. Alright. Make, make sure you throw away your toothpicks. Okay, we had an issue with that with our last group. So make sure you throw away your toothpick after you use it. Okay. Swab it. Get your slide prepared and then throw it away in the trash can right here. So we put a trash can over here. We have our microscope slides, a whole box of them. Okay. And we have our cover slips. Alright. What if we need to clean that lid? Where is that? What if you need to clean your lens? Let us know and we'll take care of that. Do you want to take the group? So we're going to have groups of four come over and look at how to prepare a slide. Um, the other groups start reading through uh, part one. What about us? Alright, start reading through part one. Alright, so we're going to take this group of four. Come on over, we're going to... It's not a group of... It's like... People, but not yeah, we're just doing tables so we can. Yeah, but, uh, I can show them how. Why don't we just do one from each table? Come over and then, and then they can teach you the table. Oh. Can we get our microphone? No. Ready? Oh no, there's more eyelashes. So, while we're getting eyedroppers, so when you are done with your slide, please wash your your microscope slide, and please be very careful. They are glass; they can break. Okay. So please wash your slide, and when you're done, you can put them over here to dry on this set of paper towels. Your cover slips are very small, but you're going to have to wash those too. We only have so many. So you're going to wash those and dry them off and use it again for your cover slips. Okay. Alright, come on over here. Grab his cover slips. They're reading. 
So make sure you are reading the directions, follow the directions. Do the hair. No, I want you to have a lemonade and a brisk. Let's eat your eyes out of the lemonade. Put your lemonade out of the eyes. Okay, so we need to put that stuff in the Not on the hair. Yeah. So for the biological thing, that's only for the... Start with the hair. Alright, so So we can grab this back too. Yes. So Go ahead and grab the microscope for your group. Ready? Good, Thanks, grab it. 
So you know what you're doing. Make sure you reuse your cover slate. Okay. For those of you looking into the microscope and wondering what the black line is in the middle, it is supposed to be there. It's a pointer for you. And if you turn this, you turn the eyepiece, and you can move the pointer around. Oh, cool. No. Okay, no, no. Just put some on. There you go. Oh, it's there. You go. There we 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 go. I have a lot more practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what are you talking about? What? Sure. You have to talk to trash about this. Yes, or no? If you need help finding something or looking at something, you know. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we're supposed to use the eyes. Oh yeah, wait. Are we supposed to put the eyes in? Oh, you got to stop walking. Oh, 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 the. Is there anything in there? All right. 
if you're when you're looking at the hair and asking about the medulla, here's a picture of what the medulla is. It's it's the middle part of the hair. You'll be able to tell it's a different color. So it'll be like a outside part and then middle part. Did you actually get it focused? There is no way I had to take that picture. Oh, focus. Did you see it? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. How much do I need to get? I know. There's a little dark side of the letter. This? He got too close. I'll find out. No, it's a little bit. I was trying to use what? Yeah, we're gonna go wash it. Do you wanna do my eyelash now? Yeah, get an eyelash and I'll wash it. It's on my boots over here. Maybe you can see the biscuits on the outside. Mr. 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 M
Mr. Overstreet, do you have some water? Mr. Overstreet, Mr. Overstreet, thank you guys. And then just standing right there. Does anybody else see it? Uh, 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 Yeah, it's like, right there. Sorry. Give me a Wait, what is it? It's a history. 
Sometimes you get a bigger one that's easier. Yeah, like on there. So um, like you can try really? going on the high power yeah, and try yeah. and yeah, yeah, let me see your cheeks up, guys. I saw two things that were yellow and kind of chippy. And then on there? For yeah. The yeah, I think my foot yeah, was like this. Saw, they just went black. Right, and then we saw my thighs. And then we saw a very big gentleman. Back to work. No, actually, it was. Wow, you're weird. It's perfect circle. Perfect. 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 Perfect